name is Dr. Rick Sigill. I'm and action. Hey, uh, Jay had a... This is Kirk to them. And action. Hey, everyone, it's Dr. Rick. Um, Tracy had a question about DIM, diindolmethane. And I thought I'd dovetail this onto another question from Manny about low T. So today's tutorial or uh, minute clinic is on T and DIM. Dim tea, dim tea. Well, anyway, but if this is the first time you're finding me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the alert button to find out when I do new videos. So, dim is, a, here, I'll just show you. So this is a brand, a Nature's Way. I really like Nature's Way, it's a good company. Uh, they usually have a lot of hits or a lot of uh, successes that have been approved by Consumer Labs. I like Consumer Labs as a go-to reference for testing, independently testing, uh, off-the-shelf uh, supplements and like you know this is kind of going to be an uh, unboxing as well but dim is important <clears throat> to help uh, facilitate the conversion of estrogen uh, so in, in a lot of cases we have uh, obesity and with obesity you have a lot of uh, visceral adipose tissue VAT and when you have a lot of tummy fat um, around the t center instead of not just the arms and the legs, but the, the tummy fat tends to act as a hormone, a gland, and uh, adipose tissue produces a lot of estrogen. And if you're a male and you have more estrogen than testosterone, that can give you uh, female characteristics like boobs, uh, or uh, decrease your uh, testosterone uh, as evidenced by uh, decreased erection, uh, loss of hair, um, sometimes the mood swings, uh, even to the point of increased cholesterol. So, uh, sometimes, so using this, in theory, will help the uh, estrogen be metabolized faster, so you don't have as much of a, uh, uh, the liver is, works a little better. So uh, the reason I brought it up here is that uh, not necessarily with Tracy, but uh, this is uh, from, I can't put the patient's name here, but I'll put uh, here. Let me just do this. This is from a patient of mine who got his uh, testosterone cream from Whole, uh, uh, Wholesome Health Pharmacy in Hoffman Estates. Uh, Matt is the owner of Wholesome Health Pharmacy. Great place, and hopefully you get that in, yeah. Uh, uh, so he has compounded uh, testosterone for a patient. I'm just borrowing the bottle or the uh, container. And testosterone you apply to the skin. And uh, I think that when you apply medicine to the skin, it gets into the bloodstream and starts to affect all the cells. Uh, when you affect the cells, then uh, you have a change in the way the DNA works. DNA works better especially if you're used to not having testosterone anymore and suffer from weight gain, increased cholesterol levels, and uh, impotence or erectile dysfunction, even fatigue, or poor muscle response if you try to exercise. So taking the testosterone cream every day, usually in the morning, would help. Now women can also use testosterone because they have a little bit of it too, but I usually will say, again, use creams, a little bit of estrogen uh, in the form of estriol, and a combination of estradiol in addition to a sprinkle of testosterone depending on the blood test results or saliva results will help that uh, female get to a level where she was before because again sometimes when you lose your estrogen it's okay to go through menopause or andropause it's menopause for women andropause for men but um, sometimes if you're not ready for it or if it's hit you like gangbusters and you have multiple diseases before that happens as it happens, those diseases will just take off. So sometimes if you're ready to make the change and you just can't make the change, the body's not responding, I'd say try the compounded hormone replacement therapy or a bioidentical hormone replacement therapy and make the change. Then perhaps after you achieve your goals, get off the compounded if you want to, at that point in time, withdraw and get into andropause and menopause. Uh, so uh, it sounds bad, like you have to get into it, but there are some benefits also to getting rid of the ups and down swings of hormones. I, does, I do think it helps with muscle responsiveness, with metabolism, so um, unfortunately a lot of my patients uh, are kind of delayed in their attempts to change life. 
this just helps a little bit. Anyway, dim helps with uh, getting rid of, especially for guys, uh, excessive amounts of estrogen. So it just helps the liver uh, metabolize. So when you use topical, it gets into the skin, gets into the bloodstream, gets to affect it, every cell that it has to affect. And then after it affects the cells, it goes to the liver, liver digests the hormone. So this is the problem when you take a pill, it has to go straight to the liver and it breaks down into metabolites instead of going straight to the bloodstream from the skin. So when you uh, take the pill, it breaks into metabolites, that's where some of the controversy of those metabolites causing excessive amounts of problems will occur, like breast cancer or, or uh, uh, stimulating, uh, the rumor is prostate cancer. Uh, so that's why I like topical. If you can get injectable, that'd be even better, but injectable is very expensive. So in my opinion, the, the patients that I have with uh, topical testosterone or any kind of testosterone, it, it doesn't get covered. So it's really hard to get approved. There's a pre-authorization process. I never get it approved. So I send everybody to Matt uh, at Wholesome Health Pharmacy in Hoffman Estates, uh, whether female and getting competent bioidentical hormone therapy or male and getting uh, bioidentical testosterone. So uh, if I do use that, some men uh, that have male pattern baldness might want to be using soft palmetto to help uh, decrease the DHT. Sometimes when you have a lot of testosterone, it can be converted to DHT and cause problems with hair loss. So salt palmetto helps that. Um, again, the DIM is helpful for when uh, you're a little bit overweight and you're using testosterone, but at the same time your fat cells are producing estrogen. You want the estrogen to be low, want the testosterone to be high. Uh, when estrogen is high, you have something called sex hormone binding globulin. It increases and it tries to grab in the bloodstream all the uh, estrogen. And unfortunately, it sometimes by accident grabs the testosterone, so it keeps everything low. So I, again, that's why you want to clean up all the riffraff as far as estrogen. Um, there's also progesterone, uh, progesterone cream. Uh, I believe this is um, Source Naturals. So progesterone cream works well. Usually I'll use a testosterone and estrogen for women in the morning or testosterone for men in the morning and then progesterone at night. Progesterone topically has uh, healing uh, to it, uh, healing properties to it. I think it's called DLP as far as prostate cancer prevention. It also works to um, offset the estrogen that you're using during the day. Uh, I think it's pretty safe. Progestins are controversial as far as uh, possibly inducing cancer. The progesterone, which is more from yams, has no harm at all. So this actually helps to calm and relax, helps GABA receptors in the brain. So it's nice to apply this at night. It's nice to apply this in the daytime. And then again, if I don't have a sample here if you're a uh, female, uh, the compounded by S, uh, which is estri estriol and estradiol combination, maybe with or without testosterone, would be good in the morning. So th that's pretty much it as far as the use of DIM. So in a roundabout way, using DIM does help with clearing out the uh, met metabolizing uh, estrogen, excessive amounts of estrogen or estrone, um, uh, while you're, even if you're not using uh, any uh, bioidentical hormones, you can still use just DIM by itself, especially if you're excessively, or you have the symptoms of overproduction of estrogen which uh, can result in uh, problems with hair, acne, uh, irregular periods uh, while your body gets it itself adjusted. Sometimes using that helps to keep the estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone at an even keel. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of information, Trace and, and Manny. Uh, for those of you who use uh, bioidentical hormone therapy, please put down below where you get it and how much you get charged because Matt, uh, he really has a competitive price and he makes good product. Um, also for some men, if you want to avoid, uh, because when you use testosterone, uh, again, if you use testosterone and your liver is trying to get rid of the extra T, it sometimes will um, convert to estrogen in some cases and that will give you man boobs. So using the DIM is important, but I have some men using Chrysin. Chrysin will, can be uh, compounded and mixed in so it prevents the uh, excessive amounts of estrogen for men. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea about uh, where you are as far as if you're on the fence and, and wanna try it. I'd say if anything, try for three months. It's not that spectacularly fast. Three to six months will be the time I expect to see changes, whether it's muscle responsiveness, better erectile dysfunction, uh, or just a little bit more energy. So uh, injectables, fast. The pellets, super fast. 
but those are expensive. Topical, slow and steady, doesn't rock the system too much, but uh, I'd like to hear about your comments as far as price. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to me and I'll see you at the next clinic.